Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Monday Night Raw. We are live from the sunny Dallas, Texas, and we're going to kick the night off in a massive way. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we are kicking the night off strong with the number one contender to the World Heavyweight Championship, the legend killer, Randy Orton. Hot off the heels from his massive victory over the game Triple H inside Hell in a Cell at Bad Blood. Randy Orton is here tonight to address the fans ahead of his massive championship opportunity. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monday Night Raw. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you all enjoy the show. It's gonna be one hell of a night, so sit back, relax. Grab your favorite beverage, possibly some popcorn, and get ready for what is set to be one hell of a night. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, at Bad Blood, Randy Orton defeating Triple H inside Hell in a Cell with a little assistance from his former enemy Seth Rollins and another former member of Evolution. Randy Orton was victorious in that match. And now we'll be facing the rated R Superstar Edge for the World Heavyweight Championship at the King of the Ring in just three weeks time. But here tonight, Randy Orton returns to address the fans we have a fantastic night ahead of us, ladies and gentlemen. Our main event of the evening, Sting versus Bobby Lashley in the final match of round one of the King of the Ring tournament for Monday Night Raw. But that's later on tonight. Now it's time to kick off the show with Randy Orton and these fans. You can just hear it. This place is deafening and they love the legend killer. Let's see what he's got to say. Wow, strong message from the number one contender, the legend killer Randy Orton, ladies and gentlemen. What a night it's gonna be, and wait a minute. And it appears that we're gonna be joined by the world heavyweight champion himself, and listen to the boos for the rated R superstar, the world heavyweight champion, Edge. Of course, Edge successfully defended the World Heavyweight Championship at Bad Blood. And it was last week on Raw that he attacked. Oh, hold on a minute. Got off by the Pyros. Last week on Raw, the Edge attacked the former champion CM Punk and took him out of commission, dropping him head first on the cement floor. And then following it up 
with a concerto. CM Punk has been injured. A return date has not been set. But Edge has a new foe. And that man right there, Randy Orton, as these two square off in the center of the ring. Let's see what Edge has to say. Edge says, here's my counter, and Edge... Oh, wait a minute, Edge! A cheap shot by Edge, rocking Randy Orton in a spear! A spear! Edge with a cheap shot, and then a, a spear out of nowhere. And now Edge in the corner, calling him up again. Edge is, is calling him up again in a second spear. Edge has laid out the number one contender here tonight. And if he can do that at Kane of the Rain, that's going to be the sight that we're going to see. Edge standing tall with the World Heavyweight Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, what a way to kick off Raw. A strong message from Randy Orton. And Edge responds with a message of his own. Can Edge do it at Kane of the Ring? Can Randy Orton capture his first world title at Kane of the Ring? We're going to have to find out. But as for tonight, the Rated R Superstar stands tall. Is he serious? Is Triple H serious? Is he really asking and expecting Ric Flair to give up his spot in the King of the Ring tournament? I don't believe it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to switch gears here as we got the Owen Hart Memorial Tournament is underway as Sean O'Hare 
makes his way to the ring on Monday Night Raw for the very first time he is in action here tonight. The winner of this match will join MVP in the semifinals. But first, we have to see who his opponent will be. Of course, the last time we saw Sean O'Hare, he was tapping out to a, an ankle lock on Friday Night SmackDown. And he was drafted to Monday Night Raw and Stone Cold Steve Austin, the general manager, has given him a chance here tonight. This tournament has brought out some new faces and new opportunities for current superstars like Sean O'Hare. Last week it was MVP and R-Truth. This week it's Sean O'Hare. But the question is, who will his opponent be? Wow. This should be interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, the European champion is the mystery opponent for Sean O'Hare, William Regal. The man who successfully defended that title at Bad Blood after using brass knuckles to knock out Dustin Rhodes. William Regal has the chance to become a double champion if he can make it all the way in this tournament. What an interesting dynamic that would play. Would, would he merge the two titles? I don't know, but ladies and gentlemen, Owen Hart Memorial Tournament. It's going to be our first match here on Monday Night Raw, and it's set to be a good one. Thank you all so much for tuning in to Monday Night Raw. As I said, we got an action-packed night ahead of us. Later on tonight, Gil Kim and Trish Stratus will face off in the first round of the Queen in the Ring Tournament with the winner getting a shot at the women's title at SummerSlam. Title is currently held by China, but now we got the Owen Hart Memorial Tournament. Sean O'Hare takes down William Regal. And there's the bell. This match is underway. William Regal sporting that new attire with the European title on the side. Very interesting style choice there from the man who's had to cheat to win the title and to and to retain the title. But William Regal now looking to steal a victory here, looking to get this match over as quickly as it started into the cover. Does that do it? No, a kick out at one. Sean O'Hare back up to his feet. Willem Regal with a right hand spins him around. Willem Regal rolling him up again, trying to steal the victory, trying to get out of this match as quickly as possible, but it wasn't enough. And now Regal has Sean O'Hare. Double, double underhook, belly to belly. And then Regal sends Sean O'Hare flying to the outside of the ring. Welcome to Monday Night Raw, Sean O'Hare. Regal sending him to the outside of the ring. Sean O'Hare back on the apron and walks right into a right hand. Regal with a drop kick sending O'Hare off the apron to the outside and now Regal's going to join him look to do a little bit more damage with an uppercut. William Regal is a veteran in this business. Both superstars were part of WCW in its heyday. Of course WCW was bought out by the WWE back in the early 2000s. And now Regal Send Sean O'Hare back inside the ring. Regal has a WWE title. And now Sean O'Hare is looking to capture his first one here on Monday Night Raw. And now Regal just going after the arms. Just going after any limb that he can. Trying to wear down his opponent. Smart move by William Regal. And he's starting with the arms to take out the power of Sean O'Hare. Of course, Sean, Hare, Sean O'Hare is a very versatile superstar. He's got the speed, he's got the power, and he's got the agility. All he's got to do is put it all to the right use. All he's been looking for is an opportunity, and he gets that here tonight. But can he do it? Can he put away the European champion? And oh, come on, ref. You got to stop that. Taking his fist and driving it across the face of Sean O'Hare is William Regal. Sends him into the corner, and now Regal pandering to these fans. Ever the confident one. He does have a lot to be confident about. He is the European champion, but here comes O'Hare. And that's why you don't you don't give Sean O'Hare a no! Oh, don't give him a moment to rest. Takes him down with a couple of clotheslines. Regal is stunned. And now Sean O'Hare sends him into the corner. O'Hare full head of steam. Big boot. No, Regal moved out of the way. And a kick right to the hamstring. And takes him down with a shoulder tackle there. That hamstring's got to be on fire after a kick like that. An NFL-like punt. 
to the hamstring of Sean O'Hare. And now Regal gonna target the lower back and drop some spine first. On the barricade. Regal has full control in this match. It has not been back and forth whatsoever. So Harry gets dropped face first and again Regal pandering to these fans. These fans are not behind Regal one bit, especially with the way that he's been going about his business. Cheating to win the European title from Dustin Rhodes and then cheating to retain it. And he could very well be looking to cheat to win here tonight for Sean O'Hare. We'll have to see how this match plays out because Sean O'Hare is getting back into this contest. A right hand and another one. Sean O'Hare is lighting up Regal and a discus clothesline takes him down. Regal is down. Sean O'Hare has him. Sent him into the corner and Regal hit hard. Regal hit hard and then a knee right to the face. Veteran instincts there by William Regal rolling to the outside of the ring. Was it a smart idea? I don't know because here comes Sean O'Hare. He cleared the top rope with the senton and he took out the European champion. I spoke about it earlier. The agility of Sean O'Hare is off the charts. All he needed was the opportunity and he's got the opportunity of a lifetime. Top rope, massive kick off the top. Sean O'Hare into the cover. That could very well do it. Hooks the leg. He's got it. No, a kick on it too. It wasn't enough to put Regal away. Sean O'Hare can't be getting too frustrated because that will give Regal the opportunity to put him away. But Sean O'Hare lifts him up, razor's edge maybe. Oh no, he spins him in circles. And there's the power. We already saw the agility and then we just saw the power of Sean O'Hare. And now Regal with a kick to the gut. Regal's looking to fight back here. A right hand and another one. Turns him around. Regal hooks him up. German suplex with a double underhook variant with a bridging cover. Does that do it? No, a kick out of two. Sean O'Hare staying in the fight. He's not going to let this opportunity slip through his fingers. He's been waiting for an opportunity like this. Regal full head of steam. Sean O'Hare moved out of the way. Sean O'Hare has him right where he wants him. He's going to look for the cyclone now. He's got him up. He's got him up on his shoulder, but no. Regal slipped out the back. I think the back gave out a shot. O'Hare in the knee trembler. That patent is signature maneuver. That's got to do it. Into the cover. Hooks the leg. Regal moves out of the tournament. Now a kick out of two. Sean O'Hare stays in the fight. Regal can't believe it. And Regal, veteran again, going right back after him, making sure that he stays on top of Sean O'Hare, not giving him, not giving him time to recover. Sends him into the corner. Regal hooks him up on the top rope. What's Regal looking for here? Sean O'Hare is in a precarious position. Could be looking for that wow factor. Could be looking for something huge. They're both on the top rope. Wait a minute. Double underhook suplex off the top rope. What a move by William Regal. And now going back after the back with the Regal stretch. Sean O'Hare with all the damage that's been done to that lower back. Sean O'Hare might be forced to tap out here. He must be, his back must be writhing in pain. You can see it on his face. Sean O'Hare's gonna have to tap out or not. Sean O'Hare fights out. Sean O'Hare fights out and here comes Sean O'Hare. Close line and another one. Ringo look for the kick. Sean O'Hare reversed it, sweeps the leg. O'Hare. Feeding off these fans here in Dallas, Texas. A raucous crowd here in Dallas. And Sean O'Hare sent him into the corner. Full head is steaming. He gets the boot this time. And Regal rolling to the outside once again. And again, Sean O'Hare is going to follow him. Wait a minute. Springboard boots all to the outside of the ring. O'Hare sent him back into the ring. I agree with these fans. Springboard Swanton Bomb. That does it. Sean O'Hare is going to pin the European champion. No. Kick out at two and a half. And Sean O'Hare 
I'm sure he can't believe it, but he's staying focused. Colin Regal up to his feet. He wants to look for that final nail in the coffin. Put an end to this match to move on in the Owen Hart tournament. But Regal, Regal with the elbows. Fighting out of it once again. Again, Regal fights out of it. Spins him around. Wait a minute. Regal Plex. Regal Plex. That's it. That's it. He does it. No. O'Hare kicks out of the Regal Plex. The heart and Sean O'Hare not letting this opportunity go to waste, but oh, come on. Regal pulling off the turnbuckle pad. The referee's got to know what he's trying to do. He's done this in the past. Regal stalking O'Hare. He's got the brass knuckles. Wait, no, O'Hare ducked it. But on the apron, on the apron, Dustin Rhodes. Dustin Rhodes had him up on the apron. He came in through the crowd. O'Hare fucks him up. It drives him down into the canvas. Dustin Rhodes came in through the crowd with the assistance. He was not going to let William Regal cheat his way to another victory. Sean O'Hare, top rope. You know what's coming next. Swanton bomb. Cover. Hooks the leg. Sean O'Hare pins the European champion. And Sean O'Hare with the assistance of that man right there, Dustin Rhodes, moves on in the Owen Hart Memorial Tournament. He joins MVP in the semifinals. Ladies and gentlemen, what a victory for Sean O'Hare. What a match. Oh, strong words from the Olympic gold medalist Kurt Angle. He is in action later on tonight. And he had a message for Shalom Benjamin. That, and he said that one way or another, he's going to teach him a lesson in respect. But I don't know if I necessarily agree with what he had to say. But ladies and gentlemen, we can't think about that right now. Because it is time for the first match in round one of the Queen of the Rain tournament as Trish Stratus, a former women's champ, makes her way to the ring. And this is set to be a blockbuster of a match, ladies and gentlemen, because this is between not only two of the greatest women's superstars in WWE, but it's a match between an alliance. Trish Stratus and Gail Kim formed an alliance at Bad Blood with the one goal in mind and that was to take back over the women's division, to get back to the top where they feel they rightfully belong, and to kick out those that they feel do not. The likes of Nikki James, Beth Phoenix, and the women's champ herself, China. And of course, the director of talent relations, Stephanie McMahon, said, if you guys really feel so strongly about it, why don't you too show me what you're worth? Now they're being forced to face off in the first match of the Queen of the Rain and they had a backstage altercation earlier today. Both women feel that they are the strong favorites to win this tournament. And it caused some tension between these two. You're gonna have to see that 
of that place out here tonight. I have a feeling it's going to explode right before our very eyes. As we are set for a massive women's championship qualifying match. Because the winner of this tournament will face the women's champion at the SummerSlam pay-per-view. Here we go. First match of round one. Trish Stratus versus Gail Kim. Here we go. And these two staring a hole through each other. It looks like they're both a little nervous to take that first step, but somebody's got to. We have to have a winner here if either one of them want a shot at the women's title. And it looks like it's going to be Gail Kim that takes that first step. Gail Kim saying, come on, we got to do this. Let's see who's really the best. Trish Stratus, she looks reluctant. She looks reluctant to take that first step. But she's, she's got no choice here. Oh, here we go, here we go. This is about to break down, ladies and gentlemen. These two, both inside the rain, squaring off it. What the hell? What the hell? Wait, 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 no, no, no. No, 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 no. What? Are you kidding me? Trish Stratus? just threw away this golden opportunity. For what? What the hell is that about? Why, why would she throw away a shot at the women's title as there's Stephanie McMahon watching on, obviously not happy with how the outcome of this match went down. Ladies and gentlemen, Gail Kim and Trish Stratus they fooled all of us here tonight, but, but why would Trish take the loss? Well, that was certainly interesting. An ominous message from Scott Hall and Kevin Nash telling Shawn Michaels they didn't want it to be this way, even going as far as to offering him a spot in the Wolf Pack. But ladies and gentlemen, we can't think about that right now. We have our first Kane of the Rain match here tonight as Kurt Angle makes his way to the rain. And this is what the bracket's looking like so far. Next week, we're going to see Scott Steiner versus Goldberg. And we have to see who's going to join him. And this is a man who, despite being an Olympic gold medalist, I'm finding it very hard to show any sort of support towards because Kurt Angle took out his own protege, took out Shelton Benjamin all those weeks ago, and he claims it's to teach Shelton Benjamin a little bit about respect, but I don't think that's what it is at all. I think Kurt Angle was jealous of the opportunity that Shelton Benjamin was getting when he was drafted to Monday Night Raw. I think he was just jealous. Not to say that Kurt Angle's not getting an opportunity already. I don't know how he's getting this match here tonight. I think the only thing that got Kurt Angle this match here tonight is the fact that Stone Cold Steve Austin, the general manager, recognizes the sheer talent that, Rick, that, that Kurt Angle possesses. And speaking of sheer talent, you can't talk about the King of the Ring tournament. You can't talk about the World Heavyweight Championship 
without mentioning the Nature Boy, without mentioning the 16-time World Heavyweight Champion, Ric Flair. Of course, we're still reeling at what Triple H said to Ric Flair earlier tonight, trying to get Ric Flair to give up his spot in the tournament to forfeit it to Triple H. Ric Flair admittedly said that I have more years behind me than I do in front of me, and I want one more run at the World Heavyweight title while my body can still handle the pressure. But can it handle the pressure? Can Ric Flair do it? He's the dirtiest player in the game. We call him that for a reason. But does he have what it takes to go long in the King of the Ring tournament? We are about to find out, ladies and gentlemen. Kurt Angle, Ric Flair, King of the Ring tournament is underway. And oh, Ric Flair, ever the confident one. Very typical, and oh, come on, Kurt Angle from behind with a neck breaker. And I can't, I hate to say it, but I'm, I'm not surprised that Kurt Angle would stoop that low as to attacking Ric Flair from behind. It's not the first person that he's attacked from behind as of late. Now Ric Flair sends Kurt Angle into the corner, firing back with a massive chop there. And a second one. Kurt Angle is getting lit up by the Nature Boy. And Kurt Angle firing back, and a massive clothesline takes him down. Another clothesline there. Ric Flair is reeling. Kurt Angle sends him into the corner, full head of steam and a corner spear. And Kurt Angle gonna follow it up, belly to belly suplex. He can hit you with him from any part of the ring. He can hit you with every form of it. And there's another form of the suplex. This time a gut wrench suplex on the Nature Boy. Targeting that lower back of Ric Flair. Of course, he was in a plane crash a long time ago which caused some back issues later in his career. And Kurt Angle knows that, and he's gonna target that, looking for another belly to belly, but Ric Flair had it well scouted. You can hit it once or twice, but not a third time, and there goes Kurt Angle to the outside of the ring. Kurt Angle stunned with that reversal by Ric Flair, and there's the Nature Boy, woo! Once again, taking down the Olympic gold medalist, the wrestling machine, up on the apron, Kurt Angle, Caught him with the right hand. Ric Flair tried to take advantage, but it wasn't enough. Kurt Angle saw it coming in a missile drop kick off the top rope. Down goes Ric Flair. And now Kurt Angle picks him up and again targeting the back. Again targeting the back and the hip of Ric Flair. That's Kurt Angle's ankle lock versus the figure four. And right now Kurt Angle just looking to beat the holy hell out of Ric Flair. A side of Kurt Angle that we never wanted to see. You would think being such an Olympic hero, Kurt Angle would have a little bit more self-respect than this. But his actions as of late have been nothing but despicable as he hits Ric Flair with another belly to belly into the cover. Hooks the leg. Does that do it? Wasn't enough Noah kick out of two. Ric Flair staying in the fight. Kurt Angle looking a little bit frustrated, but he knows he's got to stay on top of him because if not, that's exactly what happens. Ric Flair with the right hand and a chop. Ric Flair, another chop, lighting up the wrestling machine. Sends him into the corner, full head of steam and a clothesline takes down Kurt Angle. Two former world champions here in the ring and a massive knee, vintage Ric Flair. Kurt Angle up on the ropes. He stays, he's confused, and now he gets hung up on the top. Nice maneuver there by the Nature Boy, and now Ric Flair going after the legs. And you know what that's for. You know what he's looking to set up for, a future figure four leg lock. That's exactly what Ric Flair's looking to set up with those maneuvers. And now Ric Flair raking the back of Kurt Angle. Taking the nails and digging it into the back of Angle, and now a back suplex to follow it up. Nice maneuver there by Flair. Into the cover. Hooks the leg. Does that do it? No, a kick out of two. Ric Flair did not do enough. And he's going to stay on top of Kurt Angle. Knows that what he has to do in his massive suplex there. A nice suplex. By, ooh, the Nature Boy. 
And drops him down the right hand, and now a choke, and choking the life out of Kurt Angle. That's an illegal choke, and Ric Flair knows that. But Ric Flair is the dirtiest player in the game. We call him that for a reason. Sends him into the corner. What's he looking for here? Turns him around, looking for the double axe handle, but Kurt Angle caught him with a kick. Kurt Angle caught him with a kick, and now Kurt Angle, wait a minute, Kurt Angle's got the leg. Kurt Angle's got the leg, and he drives it into the canvas with the force of his entire body weight. And now Angle, power bomb, alley oop, power bomb out of the corner. Ric Flair is in trouble. Ric Flair is on the back foot here, trying to retreat back into the corner, but Kurt Angle doesn't care where you are, he's gonna keep the pressure on him. And now stomps in the corner. And now digging his boot right into the chest of Ric Flair, good God. And a discus right hand. Ric Flair said that he has more years behind him than in front of him. And he wants one more run at a world title. Is he able to do it? That road starts tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Do you think Ric Flair can get back into the world title picture as Kurt Angle middle rope for the body splash for Flair? Had it well scouted, moved out of the way, and then a shoulder tackle takes down Kurt Angle. Takes him down with that shoulder tackle and then hits him with the kitchen sink. He is throwing everything, including the kitchen sink, at the wrestling machine here tonight, because that might be what it takes to put Kurt Angle away. Takes out the leg, and Kurt Angle rolling to the outside of the ring, realizing he was in trouble, but Ric Flair is a veteran in this business. He knows he's got to stay on top of their Angle, because if not, oh, his opportunity to advance in the tournament might be fading if he doesn't stay on top of him. So he's gonna send him spine first into the barricade. Ric Flair is, is hanging with Kurt Angle here tonight. Very impress, impressive. Very impressive on the part of Ric Flair. Sends him back in the ring, but you expect nothing less from the 16-time World Heavyweight Champion. Now Ric Flair going to the top rope. High risk, could it be high reward? Measuring his man for the double axe handle, vintage Ric Flair into the cover, hooks the leg. That could very well do it. Landed right on top of his head and Noah kick out of two. Kick out of two by Kurt Angle. It's not enough. Ric Flair is starting to get frustrated. Ric Flair looking for the chop. No, Kurt Angle reversed it. Kurt Angle spins him around. Kurt Angle, what's he looking for here? Side headlock. Oh! Massive. Massive right hand to Ric Flair. It looked like that was a close fist ref. You should have been on top of that. And Kurt Angle looking for the, oh, corner spear once again. And for a third time, belly to belly suplex. The, the amount of pain that his back must be in is off the charts now into the cover and a kick out of two. Ric Flair not willing to quit. Ric Flair showing the heart of a champion here tonight. And Kurt Angle looking to distinguish the light. That is Ric Flair and a belly to belly to the outside of the ring. If his back wasn't writhing in pain before, it certainly is now. And now Kurt Angle, full head of steam, sent on over the top rope. Sent on over the top rope, taking out Ric Flair. Ric Flair's in trouble. Flair's in trouble. And Angle sent him in the ring. Flair's out, Flair is out. Angle, top rope. Top rope, Kurt Angle. Mount Salt, that's it, that's it. Into the cover, hooks the leg. Ric Flair kicks out. Ric Flair stays in the fight. I don't know how, but he is still in the fight. Measuring him for the angle slam. It's Kurt Angle, but Ric Flair fights out. Ric Flair fights out, spins him around. And now he's got the sleeper hold locked in. That sleeper hold is locked in tight. Could be looking to make Kurt Angle tap out or pass out, whichever comes first. Can he do either of them? Can Ric Flair realize his dream of getting one more shot at the world title? No. Angle fights out. Angle fights out, and now here comes Angle. Here comes Angle. And now Angle, power slam, 
on that back once again. On that back once again. And Kurt Angle going to the top rope. High risk. Could it be high reward? Frog splash off the top rope. Down into the cover. Flicks the leg to move on to the tournament. No. Flair stays in it. Somehow, some way, Ric Flair is still in it. And Kurt Angle sends him into the corner. Could be looking for something big, but Ric Flair fighting out of it. Ric Flair not willing to quit. He's got the heart of a champion and the fight of a lion. Ric Flair puts Angle up on that top row. Angle is in a precarious position here, and Ric Flair's gonna join him. Wait a minute. Superplex off the top rope. That could do it. That could do it. Into the cover. Hooks the leg. That could very well do it. No, a kick out at two. A kick out at two. Kurt Angle stays in it. Does Ric Flair have what it takes to put him away? Sends him into the corner, and now Ric Flair going over to the corner. And wait a minute, Ric Flair. Ric Flair taking off that turnbuckle pad. The second time that turnbuckle pad has been taken off tonight. And the referee's got to be getting sick of it at this point. The ref's got to be getting sick of it at this point. Kurt Angle has recovered. And Ric Flair with a right to the eyes. Followed up by a low blow. Vintage Ric Flair. Vintage Ric Flair. That may have given him the opportunity that he needed. That might give him enough to put the final nail in the coffin. Pile driver. Pile driver to Kurt Angle. Into the cover. Hunts the leg. Kick out at two. You've got to be kidding me. Was that Flair's moment? Was that his moment? And wait a minute, Ric Flair now going to the outside of the ring. What the hell is he doing here? He's got Rick, he's got Angle wrapped around the ring post. Wait a minute, figure four, a figure four on the ring post. He can't win the match that way, but he can wear down the legs that much more to set Kurt Angle up for the figure four in the center of the ring. Smart move by Ric Flair. Sends Angle back into the ring. Angle stirring. Stumbling back up to his feet somehow on that leg. Looking for something here is Ric Flair, but Kurt Angle reversed it. Kurt Angle reversed. Kurt Angle has him hooked up again in another belly to belly. Another belly to belly. You, you have got to be kidding me. Kurt Angle sends him into the corner. Ric Flair is in trouble. Ric Flair is in a precarious position. Top rope, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Kurt Angle, German suplex off the top rope. Ric Flair went flying across the ring. And now Kurt Angle calling him up to his feet. What can he possibly have in store next? Another German suplex by Kurt Angle, but he keeps the wrist locked, looking for the trifecta. Looking for the triple German suplex, but Flair caught him with an elbow. Flair caught him with an elbow. And a chop, and a right hand, and another one. Kurt Angle's getting lit up by Ric Flair. Ric Flair drops him down. Flair's got the leg. Flair's got the leg. Flair. Flair. Figure four. Figure four leg lock is locked in. The figure four leg lock is locked in. Kurt Angle's legs have to be writhing in pain here. He's going to tap. Angle's going to tap. Angle's going to reverse the pressure. Angle fighting out of it. That was Flair's moment. That was his opportunity to put this match to rest. Kurt Angle spins him around. Angle slam, angle slam. That's it, cover, hooks the leg. No! What? Flair stays in it. What's it gonna take to put Flair away? Wait a minute! Shelton Benjamin's music is hit. His Titantron is playing. Kurt Angle waiting for his, his former protege to show up. But Flair, Flair from behind. Dirtiest player in the game.
Flair steals it. In typical Ric Flair fashion, the dirtiest player in the game, Ric Flair steals a victory off a distraction. Ric Flair moves on in the tournament. What an upset. And wait a minute, on the apron, on the apron. It wasn't just a distraction. It was a, a battle things to come. Shot and Benjamin getting some payback on Kurt Angle. Ric Flair has left the arena and now a corner splash by Shelton Benjamin. Shelton has been waiting all week to get his hands at Kurt Angle ever since he found out that it was Kurt Angle that took him out on the Attitude Era episode of Raw T-Bone Suplex to Kurt Angle. Shelton Benjamin is getting some payback here tonight. Shelton calling Angle up to his feet. Kurt Angle is days he's confused. Peter by Shelton Benjamin. Kurt Angle gets laid out at the hands of Shelton Benjamin. Ladies and gentlemen, Ric Flair is victorious here tonight. He moves on in the King of the Ring tournament. And payback is a bitch for Kurt Angle. And it has come in the form of Shelton Benjamin. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what a massive victory for Ric Flair. And still to come tonight in the main event, Bobby Lashley takes on Sting in the final match in round one of the King of the Ring Tournament. But first, that match is gonna be up next. But first, we are going to be joined by the Raw General Manager, the Rattlesnake, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold Steve Austin is here tonight to address the chaos that is, that has been the tag team division here on Monday Night Raw. Those titles are held by D-Generation X and due to interferences by Beer Money, we did not end up having a tag team title match at Bad Blood. And last week, Beer Money were engaged in backstage altercations with not only D-Generation X, but the right for number one contenders for those titles, Bradshaw and Farouk, the APA. These three teams have been at each other's throats for a number of weeks. They're not here tonight. They were all told to stay home because Stone Cold Steve Austin has a message for the tag team division. Let's see what he's got to say. What an announcement by the general manager. 
It's gonna be a triple threat ladder match for the tag team titles at King of the Rain, but wait a minute. What the hell does this guy want? He's got no business up being out here. Listen to the booze for Triple H. What the hell is he doing out here? He has no business being out here during this segment, ladies and gentlemen. Triple H, unsuccessful last week in his King of the Ring tournament match, losing to Scott Steiner. Albeit it was due to an interference by Seth Rollins who bought a ticket, former Evolution member Seth Rollins who bought a ticket and curb stomped Triple H on the outside of the ring. Triple H would show up on SmackDown and take out Seth Rollins in the Owen Hart Memorial Tournament, of course. Seth Rollins still won that match by via disqualification. And then earlier tonight, Triple H tried to get Ric Flair to forfeit his spot in the tournament to Triple H. Of course, Ric Flair say no. Ric Flair would win his match, but I don't know why he's out here. He's got no business being out here with the general manager. He was not scheduled to appear on the show tonight. But he is doing anything and everything that he can to insert himself back into the world title picture. Evolution is on the cups of crumbling. And it's because of that man right there, Triple H. He can't be bothered to give a damn about his own faction. He cares more about the world title. Let's see what Triple H has to say to the general manager. What? Stone Cold saying you pissed off the wrong person Friday night on SmackDown. And Stone Cold has invited that person to Ryan. Oh, wait a minute. Oh my goodness. The world's strongest man, Mark Henry, was invited to Monday Night Raw by the general manager, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And there he is, being accompanied to the ring by his manager, Teddy Long. Bret Hart said, what can I do to repay you for what happened on SmackDown? And Teddy Long said, Mark Henry wants one thing and one thing only. He wants Triple H. And he's about to get him some as Mark Henry is about to confront the game. Triple H, if I were you, I would leave the ring. Stone Cold already has, and he's getting the hell out of here. Oh my God, Henry and Triple H are staring down in the center of the ring. Your actions have consequences here on Monday Night Raw, and Stone Cold is about to teach Triple H a lesson in that, because Mark Henry is standing toe to toe with the game, and Triple H Triple H is backing down. Triple H wants nothing to do with Henry. Or? Wait a minute, Triple H getting in the face of Henry. I don't know if that's what you want to do. Triple H looking for the right hand, but Henry reversed. And Henry with the right, with the right hand. 
Triple H got rocked. Triple H got rocked. And Henry hooks him up. World's strongest slam. Karma was at Triple H's doorstep here tonight. And it was in the form of the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. He's laid out the game. Stone Cold Steve Austin teaching Triple H a very valuable lesson here tonight on Raw. Your actions have consequences. Mark Henry has laid out the Cerebral Assassin. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but it is now time. It is already time for the main event of the evening, the final match in round one of the King of the Ring tournament is underway as the new big thing makes his way to the ring. And that rhymes. Ladies and gentlemen, main event time, Bobby Lashley being accompanied to the ring by his advocate, Paul Heyman. And the winner of this match will go on to face Ric Flair next week on Raw in round two of the Kane of the Rain tournament, Bobby Lashley is in action here tonight to close us out. And he has a massive task ahead of him. As he faces the icon. Bobby Lashley has had some massive victories as of late. Defeating Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 20. Sidelining him for a couple of months. And just a few short weeks ago, a couple weeks before the Bad Blood pay-per-view, defeating Shawn Michaels in his tryout match here on Raw. Then he was offered a contract and a spot in the King of the Ring tournament. But I don't know if Bobby Lash has ever met a man like this. The icon. The Vigilante, the leader of the Wolf Pack, the man that they call Sting, who has been on a warpath since WrestleMania. Of course, he's being flanked by Scott Hall and Kevin Nash here tonight. At WrestleMania was when Sting would join forces with Hall and Nash turning on the fans, taking out Hall of Famer Hulk Hogan. At Backlash, he took out The Rock just as he was about to announce his in-ring retirement. And we have not seen The Rock since. Of course, he was drafted to Friday Night SmackDown, but we have not seen The Rock since. And now, at Bad Blood, he added Shawn Michaels to his list of victims. And tonight, he looks to add Bobby Lashley as Sting is on his way to a world title opportunity. But can he do it? We're about to find out. Ladies and gentlemen, main event time. Bobby Lashley versus the icon Sting. Final match in round one of the King of the Ring tournament for Monday Night Raw as they two square off in the center of the ring. Look at the size of Bobby Lashley and Sting going in for the collar double tie up, trying to outpower Lashley, and you are not going to be able to do that here tonight. Very few men have the power that Bobby Lashley possesses. Sting is not one of those men, and Bobby Lashley is going to make him very well aware of it. Went for a second collar double tie up, and again, not able to maneuver him. But, and oh! A knee right to the ribs of, of Sting by Bobby Lashley, and now Bobby Lashley flexing for the crowd here, and Stain looks pissed, Stain is furious, and Stain with a chop right to the chest. And another one. That's what Lashley has to look out for, the experience. That experience by Stain sends Lashley to the outside of the rain, and Lashley 
Lashley looks pissed. Back in the rain. Sting gonna try to catch him on the apron, but oh, Lashley with a reversal. A right hand and a back elbow shot. Lashley lighting up Sting here. Sends him off the ropes and a neither. Back elbow taking down the icon. What a main event this is gonna be, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys have all been enjoying the show thus far, but the match is, is not over, which means the show is not over, as Stain sends him into the corner and a massive chop. And another one. Looking to turn the ch chest of Bobby Lashley into a crimson red. Sends him into the other corner on a flying. A running clothesline by Stain, and now full headed Stain with a boot to the side of the face. Taking down Lashley once again. Lashley back up on the ropes. Stain full out of steam and Lashley sent a fly to the outside of the ring. Lashley sent Stain flying to the outside of the ring and then sent him into the barricade. And now Lashley gonna look to do some damage on the outside of the ring. Referee, count of three. But Lashley doesn't seem to be done with Sting yet. Has him up on his shoulders. Wait a minute. Lashley, spine first. Into the barricade. Once again, Sting goes crashing into the barricade. Referee count of seven. Lashley sends him back in the ring. As Paul Heyman looks on, happy with the work of his advocate, Lashley puts him back into the corner. Lashley looking to keep the pressure on Sting with those elbows into the corner. Now down into the cover, hooks the leg. Does that put him away? No, I kick out a two. It's gonna take more than that to put down the icon. You already know that. But Bobby Lashley may have felt like that should have been enough, but it wasn't enough, so he's gonna keep the pressure on. And now Lashley, full head of steam and a right hand. A running right hand, Bobby Lashley. May have just flatlined Stain with that one. Off the ropes and the veteran instincts of Stain. Caught Bobby Lashley with a hip toss. Sends him off the ropes and he catches him with another one. The veteran instincts of Stain coming into play here tonight. And he's gonna have to rely on those because he already knows that he cannot outpower Bobby Lashley. So he has to rely on his instincts. As a close line into the corner, takes Bobby Lashley down. Now here comes Stain, full head of Stain with a body splash into the cover. Does that do it? And a kick out at one. It's not enough. And you already know that Stain knew that that was not enough. He's gonna continue to wear down Bobby Lashley. And that's what that pin was. Get Bobby Lashley to exert unnecessary energy with a suplex now. Taking down the new big thing. But the new big thing could be nothing more than a pipe dream for Paul Heyman and Bobby Lashley as a double atomic drop. A reverse atomic drop. Bobby Lashley rolling to the outside of the ring. A wise maneuver. Or maybe not, because here comes Stain Bull out of Stain, jumping off the apron and taking down Lashley. Lashley is down, but he's back up to his feet. It's Stain, sends him head first into the ring post. And again, and this time Lashley goes down. And Lashley stays down this time. Paul Heyman's dream of turning Bobby Lashley into the new big thing may be nothing more than just a dream. Because Stain sends it back in the ring top rope. Heyman looks current. Concerned, he looks worried, caught cross body, but it was caught by Lashley. The power of Lashley on full display, able to catch Stain in midair and sends him into the corner. The power of Lashley is unmatched by but none but one man, and that's Brock Lesnar, and maybe even Goldberg, the man that was confronted by Lashley just a a few weeks ago of bad blood, and now Lashley has Stain up. Look at him walking around with Stain like he's nothing, and then one-handed stalling suplex by Lashley. 
The power is unmatched here tonight. Goldberg, not here tonight, but I bet you he is watching this match at home, scouting out a potential opponent. As Lashley continues to work on Sting, and Sting again with those veteran instincts, realizing he was in danger, rolling to the outside of the ring, and now Lashley, wait a minute, full head of Sting, and he goes soaring over the top rope, throwing caution to the wind. Take it out, staying on the outside of the ring. Have you ever seen somebody with that kind of agility? When they're as big as Bobby Lashley is? I don't think so. And now Lashley showing the power once again since Sting flying into the air, free falling down to the canvas. Now into the cover, hooks the leg. Is that enough? It's not enough, a kick out of two. There is no doubt in my mind that Goldberg is watching this match. And if Ric Flair was smart, and I know he is, he's gotta be watching this match as well. Because Bobby Lashley could be moving on in the tournament, but Stane fighting back. And here comes Stane with a clothesline. And another one. Bobby Lashley is down. And now Lashley stumbling into the corner. You know what's coming next. It sets it up. Here comes the Stainer splash, but Lashley, Lashley caught him. Lashley caught him and Explorer suplex into the turnbuckle, into the cover. That could very well be enough. Hooks the leg, two, no, a kick out of two. How the hell did Sting kick out of that one? Bobby Lashley caught him in midair and set him flying into the turnbuckle and now he just sent him flying into the ropes. Bobby Lashley is absolutely relentless on his pursuit to becoming a, a world champion. Paul Heyman made a promise to general manager Bret Hart over on Friday Night Smackdown that he is gonna regret not signing Lashley when he is headlining WrestleMania as the World Heavyweight Champion. And he's getting that opportunity to begin the road to the World Championship here tonight as he lifts Stain up from the floor with a Royal Power Slam into the cover. Hooks the leg. That's gotta do it. No. A kick out again. And now Lashley. Oh. Wearing down Stain. That pressure point and the trapezius muscle of the icon just got wrenched on by the future of this business. Lashley now sends him into the corner. Look at the power of Bobby Lashley belly to belly suplex out of the corner. He just sent him all the way across the ring. Before it was Paul Heyman looking on concerned and now it's Hall and Nash that are looking on concerned. Not getting involved in this match and you have to assume that that is at the Icon's orders. Stain very much wants to do this himself, but he might need some help because he is in massive trouble here up on that top rope, but Stain fighting back. Stain with a right, right elbow to the face of Lashley. Lashley walks right into a hand toss over the top rope. You have got to be kidding me. And now Stain, top rope, gonna throw caution to the wind. Crossbody from the top rope to the floor. These two are putting it all on the line here. And it's all for an opportunity to become number one contender for the world championship. It's all for the King of the Ring tournament. Sting, crossbody again, into the cover this time. Hooks the leg, that's gotta be enough to put Lashley away. No. Somehow, some way, it's not enough. Lashley stays in the fight. And now Stain sent him into the corner. What's Stain looking for? Top rope. Stain has Lashley in a precarious position. Could be looking for that big wow factor. Look at 
Oh, look at the power of Sting. Stalling suplex. Wait a minute. Lashley slipped out. Lashley slipped out and hung him up on the top rope. He hung him up on the turnbuckle. And now here comes Lashley. A back body drop to Sting. And then he follows it up with a spine buster. Down goes the icon. Lashley has him right where he wants him. Could be looking for the Dominator. Kick to the gut, no. Reversal by Sting, reversal by Sting. And a reverse atomic drop. Another atomic drop by Sting. And now Sting, Sting, wait a minute. Can he hook him in? Scorpion Deathlock is applied. Scorpion Deathlock is locked in on Bobby Lashley in the center of the ring. Lashley may be forced to tap out here. But no, Lashley fighting out. Lashley fought out, spins him around. The heart lock, the heart lock. Now Stain's in trouble. Stain may be forced to tap out. But now it's Sting breaking the grip, breaking the grip of the heart lock. From the Scorpion Deathlock to the Hurt Lock. Stain fought out of it. Now Stain. Stain or Splash. Stain or Splash. Into the cover. Fox the leg. No. How the hell did Lashley kick out of that? Stain can't believe it. Lashley back up to his feet. Turns him around. Scorpion Death Drop. No, reversed. Lashley reversed. Kick to the gut. Dominator, here it comes. Dominator. But wait a minute, Stain. Stain reverses. Stain reverses. Showing great athleticism. Once again in this match. Now Stain sends him off the ropes. Ducks the clothesline. Scorpion death drop. Scorpion death drop. What a move. What a reversal. What a sequence cover. Hooks the leg. Stain moves on. No. How the hell is Lashley still in this match? Wait a minute. You can hear the music. Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels is here. Stain hears the music. So does Hall and Nash. They gave him a chance to join their faction. And now they're gonna make sure he doesn't get involved. But wait a minute, from behind, Michaels, he stuck it to the crowd. Sweet chin music. The referee was on the outside of the ring with Hall and Nash. Michaels gets payback on the icon here tonight. And Nash and Hall just realized what transpired in the ring, chasing down Michaels. Michaels hopped the barricade. And Michaels gives his response. Michaels has chosen not to join the Wolf Pack. And now he is exiting through the crowd here in Dallas. Paul and Nash have no choice. Paul and Nash are now gonna chase down Shawn Michaels. But inside the rain, we still have a match going on. Lashley's back up. Stain is still down. Lashley. Lashley. Doesn't know what happened. But Lashley. Spear. 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 Lashley didn't see what happened. But he's going to take advantage. Picks him up. You know what's coming next. Lashley. Dominator, Dominator, cover, hooks the leg, Lashley moves out in the tournament. Wow. We have our final four from Monday Night Raw, and Lashley has that man to thank. Shawn Michaels has exited through the crowd. And now Hall and Nash, they got no choice. They gave Michaels a chance, and he said no, not happening. But ladies and gentlemen, Lashley is victorious here tonight. 
Lashley moves on in the King of the Ring tournament. He is one step closer to becoming Mr. King of the Ring. That is it for Raw.